हेलो कोडर्स वेलकम टू डे वाइड स्कूल आई होप ऑल ऑफ यूर डूइंग ग्रेट सो इन लास्ट वीक वी टूक वन पोल रिगार्डिंग आवर फ्यूचर प्ले लिस्ट वीडियो इन दैट पोल वी सजेस्ट अ थ्री टॉपिक्स वन इज कोर जावा सेकेंड वन इज स्प्रिंग क्लाउड माइक्रोसर्विस एंड द लास्ट वन इज डेव ऑफ सो फ्रॉम दैट थ्री टॉपिक्स सेवेंटी नाइन परसेंट ऑफ व्यूवर सजेस्ट दैट गो एड विथ स्प्रिंग क्लाउड माइक्रोसर्विस प्ले लिस्ट सो दैट रीजन वी गोइंग एड विथ दैट and i personally want to record video on spring cloud microservice of uh, first so multiple reasons over there so first reason is that company moving from monolithic architecture to a microservice architecture so whatever stuff required to build a microservice level architecture spring cloud provide that so that reason industry adapting a spring cloud framework very aggressively so if you are a fresher or a mid range developer or experience level if you don't have a spring cloud microservice level knowledge i suggest you to grab that because it is essential for current industry or what okay. exactly we are building in this playlist okay so in our mastering spring cloud a playlist we build a blogging website but that blogging website is a monolithic architecture level so we are converting this monolithic architecture level to a microservice architecture level and in that microservice level architecture we are adding lots of things like service registry over there a load balancer over there cloud config okay monitoring alerting so what chapters exactly we are covering in this playlist first we design our whole project architecture after that understand what is monolithic and microservice what is advantage of both then in what requirement you need to select monolithic and what requirement you need to select a microservice so after that we create one blog microservice then a comment microservice after that we create service register and discovery and register all our microservice to them so after that we build a spring cloud config with a bus so whenever we change any property file automatically that server restarted then we implement load balancer then to communicate with two microservice we are using fain client then we implement fault tolerance and circuit breaker then we implement spring cloud stream using kafka for asynchronous communication then we impl implement monitoring and alerting uh, using actuator prometheus and grafana then we implement spring cloud gateway in that we build spring security routing filtering then service mesh is one of the important topic to implement security on a, like kubernetes cluster level so we doing that then we implement uh, distributed tracing then we implement ci cd using jenkins then we doing containerization and orchestration using kubernetes and docker so if you are new to our channel i highly suggest to subscribe to our channel and click on bell icon so whenever we upload a new video regarding this whole playlist you get a notification of that to start this playlist we have some prerequisites okay first of all you need have a basic knowledge of core java after that you need to have basic knowledge of spring boot if you don't have a knowledge of us high level design there is no issue i will try to cover that if you have a, a knowledge of high level design it's very good for you so if you don't have knowledge of spring boot i suggest you to watch our mastering spring boot playlist in that playlist we cover each and everything okay yeah that's it from today's video if you have any question or you think that i miss any topic please write down comment we will read that comment and try to add that topic in our playlist if you new to our channel i highly suggest to subscribe to our channel click on bell icon so whenever we upload new video you get a notification that with that we create one telegram group in that telegram group we sharing important intro tips and tricks then our video updates and important content if you not join that group link in a description qr code come over here so scan that and join that group and uh, keep learning keep upscaling let's meet on next video till then happy coding